suspect of killing three and critically injuring a fourth person is still on the run tonight. Police say he's one of two men responsible for one murder Saturday and a double murder Tuesday. One suspect is behind bars, but police say the second man is still out there, and investigators are anxious to track him down. KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen joins us in the studio with new documents outlining one of these chilling crimes. Emily. Barton Heather, here are mugshots of these two men. Now, Haywood Miller is behind bars, but police are continuing to look for Richard Spanks. Now, according to these documents, a witness was able to help police identify the two men in one of these murders. Three dead in just four days. Police say these two men are responsible Haywood Miller and Richard Spanks. On Saturday, Police say Spanks and Miller killed 21 year old Marcus Williams at an apartment complex on Carmel Drive. And police say they shot another man who is still in critical condition. And early Tuesday, investigators say the two men gunned down two women at a home on Mosswood Lane. Police can't say how these crimes are connected. I'll tell you that there was just some incredible uh, police work in being able to connect two separate scenes. Lieutenant Howard Black says detectives have been busy. I'm so proud of our uh, detectives and, and what they've been able to accomplish o over these last few days. According to court documents, a witness helped police identify Miller and Spanks. The witness was at home when Miller and Spanks showed up between 2 and 3 a.m. The man let them in and went to his room. He heard a woman yelling, You don't have to do this. And then the man heard 10 gunshots. The witness says he was scared and thought the gunman would come for him next. The witness says he heard Spanks tell Miller he thought one of the women was still breathing, so they went back inside the home and shot more rounds. Police won't say yet why they think Spanks and Miller targeted these two women and the two men on Carmel Drive. As Springs police search for Spanks, they have also alerted law enforcement in Denver, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. Police are also looking for Spanks' car. It looks similar to this one. This is a red Kia Forte EX 2010 model with Colorado plates QNC845. Live in studio, Emily Allen Carrio, News Channel 13. Good information.